Hello and welcome to a video series all about fractions. Let's get started. Video 1 in the video series about fractions is looking at the basics of fractions and seeing what a fraction actually is. So what is a fraction? That's the question. A fraction is uh, a common way we break things up into smaller parts. So what makes up a fraction? When we see a fraction like 3 over 4, well, the top of the fraction, uh, we call it the top, but uh, the proper name is a numerator. Now, we often call that line in between um, the two numbers a fraction line. Proper name is a vinculum. Sounds a bit Roman or something there, but still. And the bottom is uh, probably known as the denominator. Because uh, the words numerator and denominator are pretty similar and can get a bit confusing, we might stick to top and bottom, although uh, we'll keep in mind that they have proper names as well. So what is a fraction? What's the idea of a fraction? Well, a fraction like three quarters, we're really considering uh, four equal parts and we're really thinking about three of them. So uh, as you can see on the shaded diagram here, we've shaded three out of the four parts and uh, they're all equal parts so that's the idea of three quarters I suppose the green shading is making up taking up three quarters of the overall square there and there are two main types of fractions we've got a proper fractions or sometimes called common fractions proper fractions have the smaller number on the top they're the ones we, we're most likely to see like 3 over 5, it's called a proper fraction. Uh, and they're always less than one whole. One whole here would be made up of 5 over 5, and we've only got really 3 over the 5. So, um, yeah, we've got a fraction, is uh, a proper fraction, less than one whole. Our uh, second type of fractions, uh, improper fractions. Uh, this isn't too hard to understand because uh, the top is bigger than the bottom in an improper fraction. So 5 over 3 is an improper fraction. There's nothing actually wrong with it. It's just that the bigger number's on top and the smaller number's on the bottom. And uh, they, they're always uh, has a value m more than one whole. In this case, uh, 3 out of 3 would be one whole. Uh, and we've got 5 over 3, so that's bigger than the value of 1. Now, how do we represent fractions on the number line? So I've drawn here a line between 1 and 0, and I've broken it up into three parts, as you can see. One whole broken up into three equal parts here. So we'd say that each part of this uh, section here, each part of this line, uh, is one out of the three parts. We've kind of got uh, one section here, we've got two sections here, we've got three sections, they're equal sizes. So just like in a test, 1 out of 3, it's not a very good mark, but still, 1 out of 3, we can uh, position it on the number line right there, uh, because that's uh, in a position whereby we've moved across from the origin over here, that's like our start here, start, let me write that carefully. If we're thinking of starting there and heading off in, in that right-hand direction here, this spot here would mean that we've covered one-third of the distance between the start and uh, the finish in this section we're considering here. So uh, that one-third fraction can be positioned there on the number line because we've, as the green shading shaded box tells you, we've uh, used up or moved across one-third of the total distance. Makes a bit of sense. Now when we actually represent a, a fraction on the number line, we can't just write the, the name of the, uh, the section underneath because the number line will have all these fractions probably written down already. So if we mean to write down one-third on the number line, we have to make sure we indicate that that's what we're thinking about on, in this particular question by putting a big black blob there. So that's how we properly represent fractions on the number line. Okay, this one, uh, this line here is broken up into four equal parts. One, two, three, four equal parts. So, one whole broken up into four equal parts. So, each part this time is one out of the four parts. So, one out of four. That's like the fraction we're representing here. Now, that would be uh, in a similar way over there, where we've moved across one out of the four 
um, ways from the origin to the, to the one there. So one out of four would be placed there and we can see from the green shading that it's, uh, it's moved across from our start um, across one quarter of the full distance of that line. And once again the proper way of representing a fraction on the number line is by putting a big black blob there. Now this number line as you can probably count one, two, three, four, five equal parts this time. So each part is one out of the five parts and uh, and so if we're going to this time represent four fifths we're going to want to position that fraction uh, four fifths of the way across the line. So we're going to put it up there where the arrow is pointing four fifths because as the green shaded box uh, indicates we've moved four of the five sections across the line almost the whole way and the proper way to represent it with a big black blob so that's representing fractions on the number line and a few basic uh, terms that we use when we're learning about fractions okay it's a good start to our video series on fractions uh, let's move on